We're all clear. Where's your that? Okay, Bravo 2, I'm going to need you to hit assist Bravo 1. Bravo 3, I want you to lock down the perimeter and make sure everybody's locked and loaded. It was my yes. first day on the job as a demon killer. We had been called in to investigate some paranormal activity at an old house where no one has lived in years. Something about a li little child demon. I guess they figured five guys with guns could kill a little demon. Hey Alicia, can you shut up already? Bravo 3, you listen to me? Sorry, Alicia's doing that crazy narrating stuff again. It's freaking me out. Alicia? Yes, sir? Didn't I tell you 10 minutes ago to stop talking to yourself? Sorry, sir. Helps calm me down. I'm nervous. Chew get some gum or something. This commentary is freaking me out. And don't talk to me in past tense. It's rude. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. It's just my first day on the job and I'm a little bit nervous, alright? I know this may sound hard to believe, but I've never seen a demon before. Neither have we, but we don't have monologues on how dark the hallways are and how it feels that it has something behind us. Okay, now you're freaking me out. Stop it, Ethan. You haven't seen a ghost before? I thought that was what this squad does, hunt ghosts and other freaky stuff. Just because we hunt freaky ass things doesn't actually mean we find anything. But I don't even believe in ghosts. What? <laughs> me neither. Then what do you guys do all the time? We collect the easiest paycheck on earth as well. Yep, a lady feels a chill down her spine or a coffee cup moves across the table, we get called in. Then we show up, say we saw some weird stuff, say we chased it off, case closed, dinner time. Let's have a cold one. You know I still have to write reports on it. You guys are all just big fat phonies. This is crazy. I'll tell you what's crazy. We have machine guns that fire 300 bullets per minute. And they, and they might think we use it to fight ghosts. Like, come on, what's going on? What we're we gonna do? We might as well. Ah! What the hell is a Kia? Bravo 1? Bravo 1? Where'd you go? He was over there a moment ago. I didn't ask where he was a second ago. I wanna know where he is now. Calm down, there has to be a good reason behind all of this. Well, maybe he thought that he could go to the next room and scream on the top of his lungs and make very crushing noises. So when is the part when we pretend like he chased it away? I'm not looking forward to running out of this one. Shouldn't we try to help him? Okay, okay. Just wait. We'll ask him if we need to. Bravo 1? Bravo 1, do you need assistance? No answer. Let's just assume he's okay. He's screaming, what more do you want to hear? If someone doesn't help me, I'm gonna freaking die! Bravo 1 to call customer. He'll just work through it on his own. Ah, he hit my leg! What ain't your leg? What ain't his leg? I need my leg! He's gotta have his leg! Don't worry, there has to be a good reason behind all of this. You always say that. Well, that's because there's always a good reason behind it all. What about that notebook that was floating in mid-air? Well, the window was open, it could have blown off the table. Yeah, but that doesn't explain why the words Get Out Bravo Team suddenly appeared on the papers. Maybe it was one of Alpha Team's notebooks. They've always been jealous. He stopped! I think he's dead! Bravo 1, I ask you again, do you need assistance? Why am I getting a call on the radio? Oh my god, just come in and start shooting! Ah, uh, this time I'm gonna die, I mean it! That's it. It's time to take action. Oh, so now we're gonna take action. Great. Bravo 3, I'm gonna need you to go in there and assess the situation, and then come back and report to me. Shouldn't we go in order, Chief? What do you mean? Well, Bravo 1 went in first, so it doesn't make sense to send Bravo 3. I think Bravo 2 should go. Oh, that's not cool. Then why have the numbers in the first place? You're not thinking about the system. Screw the system, I just got promoted Bravo 1. Now it makes you Bravo 2, why don't you go in next? I think even you know what a poorly formed document that is. Well someone needs to go in there and assess the situation. I can access the situation from here. We're here, we're alive, and Bravo 1 just went into the room and now he's dead. He didn't walk into the room, he was dragged in by some unseen force. Pretty sure that's a perfectly logical explanation to that. Stop saying that! Fine, I'll go in. Finally. Okay, let's just walk in side by side. You go first. Okay. Okay, if anything kills Alicia, I'll yell at the code word monkeys. Why the code word chief? Is Alicia being killed a secret? I don't want to lose the element of surprise. What are we surprising? The ghost demon thing that's already killing? I think it already know. I think your code word's going to be too hard to remember in a panic situation. What if we get it mixed up? The server analyzation is going to get someone killed. Oi, Chief, get in here! 
There's some really freaky ass stuff going on here, Bravo 2. I'm pretty sure that's a perfectly illogical explanation to it all, right? Right? Man, I don't even know why I talk to you sometimes. Me as monkeys, I'm out of here. Chief! Chief! What's wrong? What do you mean what's wrong? There's blood everywhere! Wow. Whose blood is it? Is it yours? No, it's not my blood. If it was my blood, I, would be, I wouldn't be saying, Oh, look at all that blood! I would be saying, God help me! I'm out of blood! Get me more blood! Maybe it's Bravo once blood. You think? This is no time for sagas when you start BS and unclaimed blood here. It goes out that way. Maybe we should follow it. Good idea, Alicia. You go check it out and report back to me. I don't see anything. Just some poorly lit rooms and doorways with no doors. Man, these decorators had really weird things. Oh my god! She fancy! It's Gorilla! Fabron! Ah! God damn it, Bravo, do you chase me! What'd you say, Chief? Chief! Oh my god! What the hell happened to you? Oh god, I think I heard them yell. No, I definitely heard Chimp. My guess is that there's one really smart ghost which is trying to crack the code. That's one smart ass podcast. Okay, well, I'm going to the car. For what? I don't know, maybe zombies trying to steal it. What type of zombie would want to steal your car? Besides, I thought you said you don't believe in zombies and ghosts. Damn, man, I believe it. I believe in the Easter Bunny because me in the hell out of this hallway. Oh! What was that? What was what? Something hit me. Something invisible. Now come on, that has to be a perfectly logical. Ah! A bunch of ghosts! Alright, let's do this. Mono in mono. Come at me, bro. Yeah, bring it! Ah. Come on, stick a move, stick a move! <laughs> what are you guys doing? Is it gone? I think we scared it off. We showed that ghost. Don't mess with Bravo team. Oh yeah. yeah. Team around, yeah. Hell yeah. Now let's get the heck out of here. What if it's not gone? What do you mean? Well, it's invisible, right? So it could be in this very room right now. It could even be possessing one of us right now. That's a very good point, Alicia. Oh my god, are you crazy? What did you do that for? Just like you said, Alicia, the ghost possessed one of us, and I knew it wasn't me. And the ghost wouldn't have told us his plan. Therefore, it was Bravo too. But it was just a guess. Not really. I thought it through very carefully. Do you want me to explain it again? No, I mean I was guessing. So why didn't you say anything? I did! Are you sure about that? You sounded pretty confident to me. Look, it's fine. Let's just get out of here. What about the chief? Alright, he's dead. Should have said that earlier. When? When you were boxing the ghost or when you were randomly killing people? Well, you seem to have a really good understanding of what's going on. Wait a second. No, you wait. It's pretty odd that a bunch of weird stuff starts happening the day you showed up. Everyone seems to die when they get alone with you. Bravo 1 wasn't alone with me and you killed Bravo 2. Because you told me to! That was just a guess! You're not fooling me again, you crafty ghost. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on the ghost. No! What happened? It got me, Alicia. Wow, I really need to start to pay better attention. Please help me, I think I can make it. I don't know, it goes right through. I mean, you're not really a doctor, but I don't think you're qualified to say who's going to make it and who's not. That's a really good point, Alicia. I guess I should have stayed in school. My mum was wrong. What about I get a doctor and I'll be right back? Uh. Oh my god!